Major changes in the Earth's environment, perhaps including a barrage of comets or meteorites, ended the Devonian world, decimating life in the oceans, destroying the planet's coral reefs, and causing another devastating mass extinction. These changes are currently a topic of active scientific research. Some groups of animals disappeared forever, but others, like these brachiopods and crinoids, suffered but survived to flourish in the seas again. In fact, some limestones we build with today were formed by the body plates of these crinoids, frozen forever in time. On land, Earth's early forests had grown into vast, swampy woodlands on low floodplains near the equator. Rising and falling sea levels periodically flooded the forests. As it died and accumulated, the vegetation turned into peat. Compressed for millions of years under layers of rock, the peat formed coal, which locked away the solar energy that the plants had gathered for millions of years. The large deposits of coal give this period its name, the Carboniferous. Life on land became more diverse and abundant. New species of amphibians evolved. Millipede-like animals up to six feet long wriggled across the forest floors. Hosts of insects took to the air. Some dragonflies reached the size of large model airplanes. The water was teeming with predators. Dry land offered a safer and less crowded refuge. Some amphibians evolved a new kind of reproduction that allowed them to invade this new frontier. These were the first animals with a backbone to lay eggs on dry land, the first reptiles. Reptiles expanded and diversified dramatically during the next period of Earth's history, the Permian. They became the dominant animals on land. In these Carboniferous and Permian seas, crinoids continued their abundance. Coral reefs flourished, filled with life of great variety. But all this strange, lively activity came to an abrupt and almost complete end. Life itself almost vanished at the end of the Permian. As much as 95% of all living things in the ocean disappeared. Groups that had dominated ceased to exist or were greatly diminished. Coral reefs were completely eradicated. Sea scorpions, trilobites, and many other groups of organisms became extinct. Some catastrophic event, perhaps an extraterrestrial impact, or an increase in volcanic activity, or a fall in sea level, or perhaps a combination of all three, triggered the Permian extinction, the largest mass extinction that has ever occurred. Life almost completely ended, and Earth would never be the same. The world entered a new era in its history the period called the Triassic. From the wreckage at the end of the Permian extinction, life slowly recovered. But things were very different from what they had been. In the oceans, the vast beds of crinoids and brachiopods were gone. Clams and predatory ammonoids came to dominate sea life. On land, two groups of animals appeared at roughly the same time during the Triassic period, dinosaurs and mammals. Dinosaurs quickly became large, diverse, and abundant. Mammals remained small and inconspicuous. Their time would come. <laughs> 